Okay, so a lot of people do a lot of people do know, and a lot of people, uh, uh, white people, black people do know um, that the people in in um, America, South America, South and North America are uh, descendants of the true Hebrews. A lot of people do realize this in Israel, but uh, Israel is such a country that everything it's so political that unfortunately uh, not a lot of people give uh, importance to this fact. Um, and when you approach a white man and you tell him, you know what, I, I can prove you that the, uh, that the Hebrews are, were people of color and you are not. So who are you? Usually uh, he's going to talk to you about Holocaust and all the stuff like this. And, and uh, he uh, basically going to say that I, I, I know that you're right, but I don't care because my great parents have been through the Holocaust and I feel safe here. I've been struggling from anti-Semitism, and I don't want to struggle, so I, I feel safe here and I feel good. Yep. This is what this is the answer you're gonna. Peter, wait gonna, a minute, uh, wait a minute. Uh, Let's uh, run this back. So you're telling me that many in Israel yeah. know this fact, okay. and yet you would tell them, brother, yeah. who are you? You you know you're not the real children of, of the yeah. Bible, and they will simply say, I know that I'm not, but I don't yeah. care. But because I have all of these perks yes. and I have all of these benefits yes. that I would rather keep the benefits and keep the lie hidden. Are you telling me that, Peter? I, I'm telling you that a lot, a lot of people do know. And they say, we, we alone mix, they use excuses. They say, we alone mix. Uh, you can tell, do, do you think in Greek, uh, ancient Greeks live in Greece? Do you think you can find Babylonians in Iraq now, right now? Do you, do you think you can find Persians in Iran right now? No, they are, they are all mixed with the Arabs, and so are we. So what? I belong here. I like it here. I don't want another Holocaust. I feel afraid to be out of Israel because maybe another Holocaust is going to happen to me. And I belong here, and I don't care about what you're saying. This is what the answer you may hear. And uh, a lot of people do know, do know about the... Um, uh, the, the, the the truth that the people were people of the Hebrews were people of color and their descendants might so, be let me ask you in this. America today. So what do you believe? Do you believe that this is yes. uh, the government of America and Israel working together to make sure that this truth is not brought out because it's so much money being made and it's so much uh, the, the government of Israel is getting so many benefits from um, the military funds, as well as over in America, there's so many pastors that are pr pushing and teaching, hey, we got to protect Israel over there. We got to protect them people over there. And you African-Americans, you're not you're not the children of Israel and you're Gentiles. And so you believe that this you well, you know that this is a cover up by the both governments. It's a cover up. Well, I don't want to make it political, but uh, it is a cover-up. And I can tell you that um, ever since I came to Israel, I was not born in Israel, I came to Israel, I started to realize that a lot of things have been covered up. And, um, right, and uh, I was looking the reason why. And this is how I, once I found the reason why. This is, uh, this is exactly the reason why it is. And it is covered up. It is covered up, and I can tell you that uh, Israel, I was told, uh, when I came to Israel, I was told that Israel is a free country, and we, the Jews, we have built it so um, we can benefit from it and not uh, live in, among other people, uh, so uh, we can depend on them, and every single time they don't like us, they can kick us away, and, and, and so on. When I came to Israel, I found out that this was not true. Israel is not really so free, a free country, because it depends on so many organizations and forces which are not even Israeli organizations. They, they come from out, they come from America, like the Jewish agency, the, the, the organization we decide who to live in Israel or who not, like the older religious organization, like the, the money, the, uh, who, uh, the organization which bring money for Israel to build universities, synagogues and everything. And, and it's, it's obvious that, that a lot of things have been hidden from us. And this is one of the, the things which has been hidden for us. It, it really, I don't want to make it political, but it is a very political. 
Hey, these are very political. So do the, do the Arabs Israel. know what's going on? Um, is this the reason why there's a war between the Palestinians and the Israelis? Is this is the reason why do the Palestinians know that they're occupying land that doesn't belong to them? Free, uh, I, I will tell you it, it, um, one of the reasons, this is one of the reasons, there are many reasons which, which, which um, for this war. And I can tell you that America is arming Israel up to the teeth. And America keep on saying, we, are, we want peace in Israel. We, we are peace process. There is no peace process. There are American weapons uh, all the time brought here in Israel. And, and we're, to we're told uh, that uh, uh, it's about peace. It's not about peace. This war is keep on going and going and, and, uh, and uh, we are, there won't be peace. As long as America is arming uh, Israel. And one of the reasons, this is really one of the reasons, because the, the old, old Arabs do know how the true Hebrews look like. They do, um, do know how they, how, uh, how they look like, and they do know that we are Europeans, and we don't look like the ancient Hebrews they, they used to remember. The Arabs are living for more than 1,000 year, years on this uh, land, and they know some things we, don't, we, 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 are, we are not told. And... Uh, now, the Arabs are very useful for Israel as long as they repeat the lie uh, that, that Israel is telling them. That we are the Jews and Israel belongs to us and they, they can live here, but as long as they, they um, accept what, everything we tell them. Now, every moment when Arab, Arabs want to uh, their own university, when they teach their own history and their own truth, their own truth, like, like, like uh, how have been they occupied by us and how have they have been uh, uh, told that we are Jews since according to their uh, sources, we are not all look like the Jews they know, um, uh, they, they become an enemy. And we want to, shut, to, to uh, represent them like they're they are only terrorists and that they're blowing themselves up and, and they have nothing, to, every single, terrorist, single thing they say, it, 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 we should not pay attention because they are terrorists. This is what we are doing right now. And uh, pretty much this is one of the reasons why we do have this war without yes so this is this is something that that on a on a level where many people within the government know many even the, even all the way down to the um the rabbis the rabbis would you say the rabbis are very they know the, they know who the true hebrews are and and they're just pretty they're pretty much just going along with the whole mm -hmm. uh political power and and finance and money Well, I can tell you that. I can tell you that rabbis are very well uh, sponsored. They have a lot of money, a lot of money, um, for, which we don't know. We cannot track this money. But uh, I can tell the synagogues and, and uh, religious organizations have a lot of money. And uh, you can see that on the top of levels of, um, of uh, this, uh, uh, their, um, their synagogue and, and, and their structure, they don't know. They don't know, and uh, they're trying to distract people. There was an Ethiopian rabbi not, not so long ago. Uh, there are a lot of Ethiopian Jews. They're black. And uh, there was an Ethiopian rabbi who had been trying to hint that uh, uh, he accepts everything. He accepts us as Jews, and he accepts Israel, and he accepts everything. But, but according to the scripture, according to the, um, uh, to the history, uh, people who look more like him then they look like us today and for the moment he trying to hint this, hint this and to gain some uh, freedom for for the ethiopian uh, ethiopian jews living here he he been fired he's not a rabbi anymore he, he so after this case i found out that the rabbis know very well very well these things too and uh, all these synagogues and everything they, they are so well organized to tell you that if there is a synagogue right now. I can I can show it to you. It's not far from my home. And uh, in the synagogue, this is this is a synagogue right now. This yeah, we can. I guess we can. I don't know. It's a piece. And uh, I can tell you that the synagogue. I, it's next to my home, and I can enter it. And on the synagogue, they all they teach is um, pretty much like what you are allowed to do on on Shabbat and what you're not. What you're supposed to do on Shabbat, what not. What is kosher? What are you supposed to eat? 
and what not. What is supposed to, are you allowed to mix milk and meat or not? Things like this. And God is missing. God and, 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 and the, the positive things and the, 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 the love is missing from the synagogue. And I can tell you because the synagogue is right next to my home and I enter it and I hear it. The, the Judaism nowadays is missing. The God, the, the God is missing there. It's about do, you're allowed, you're not allowed. Do this, don't do this. Do this, don't do this. And, and, and it just, I, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't want to talk against it, but, uh, but, but it's not what it's supposed to be. It's not what it's supposed to be. And I'm still thinking that uh, on the highest level, they know. They know very well, and they know very, very well the scripture. So let me ask you this before I let you go, because I'm going to have you back on several times from Israel. What is it like okay. for people like yourself who know who the true Hebrews are, that they're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. They are black. They are, you know, different shades of brown and whatnot. What is it like living in Israel for someone as yourself who would proclaim and say the truth historically and biblically? Um, is it, do people try to come against you? Have you been having a hard time? Um, uh, what, what is it like? Well, it, it's not very easy. First of all, I I'm try I have to prove every day that I, I I'm not I'm not hate I don't hate every white man like like they they think I'm hating white, white people and hating myself too, which is wrong. It's uh, I have this struggle with my brother and his his family. My brother is also living here, and and they don't accept what I believe in, and they they trying to tell me that I'm. Uh, I'm talking against my ancestors, and my grandmother, and so on. I have to try to prove them that it's not. I'm just, uh, I don't hate anybody, but I'm, I'm standing for the truth. And, and this is the truth. This is what I stand for. And uh, I, I, a lot of people uh, don't accept what I believe. But thank God, a lot of people don't judge me for what I believe. And it's, it's okay for me. It, as long as they don't judge me and I say, this is your business, believe whatever you want. And, and, um, and this is when I feel comfortable. It's not very easy because a lot of some people hate me, but some people just accept me. And as long as they accept me, I'm okay. And uh, I don't know. Israel has so many. The state of Israel right now has so many problems that people are concerned about so many things. There's so much stress in living in Israel on a daily basis. So, so that most of me much, but. Uh, uh, and I'm a tennis coach. I, I try at work to talk about tennis most and not about what I believe. And thank God I, I'm not struggling that much. I, I, I don't have the, a lot of problems about my belief. I, I really don't. I prove that I, I appreciate I believe in the scripture and trying to live according to the scripture, helping people, supporting people. And, um, and people see this and they kind of uh, don't judge me for, for my belief. They see I have good intentions. Right, so, I mean, you, you have a valid point. I mean, by... Uh, one who, um, you know, know the history, but also know the scriptures. Um, before I let you go, um, what is it, what is the feeling, because I'm pretty sure you're hearing and seeing, all, you know, all over um, people who are of Jewish descent or Israelis or Ashkenazis, uh, they're waking up and they're saying, we know that we're not who we the modern day state we are. We know that we're not the children of Israel. We know who the ancient Hebrews are. What is the feeling of that you have for that truth being spoken as well as seeing those who are the true descendants um, are waking up? Because we know, we, we know, and I want to put this out there, that just because we're talking about truth right now, um, about history and who's who, that doesn't mean that that exclude anybody from being in New Jerusalem or anybody from being in the kingdom. Um, but, but truth is truth. And so um, does it bring you a joy to see that someone as myself is waking up to the heritage and coming back to keeping the Torah? And um, does it bring you joy for others who are Ashkenazi Jews to wake up and say, well, I know that we're not the people and that they are. How How was the emotions for you? How do you juggle the two? Yes. <laughs> this is exactly. I, I believe that they are not much different from your emotions because, first of
first of all, I I don't know how to say it, but I I have to live with a feeling of guilt. For me, living here and benefiting from from um, uh, from uh, the country which is built by America right now, and at the same time, the true Hebrews are struggling in America. A lot of them are struggling in America. So uh, so I'm part of a. I become part of a uh, something which is against Hebrew. When I, I, I'm a person who believes in God, I believe that one day I'll be judged for that. And I try to stand for what's right. Every single time I see a brother waking up and it gives me joy, just like it gives you joy. Every single time um, uh, someone wakes up for the truth and stands, trying to stand for what's right and, and um, somehow having an understanding for, for what I believe and accepting what, what I believe, it, it's also giving me joy. And being able to talk to you is also giving me joy that the, the, the truth is, is appearing, it's coming up, and it's not hidden anymore. Of course, I'm, I'm glad. And the opposite, I, I really hate when uh, people um, like Ashkenazi Jews come and say, ah, go to hell, I don't care if you, if you, if you who, is, who is Jewish, black, white, green, I'm here, I live here, my descendants came out from Holocaust, I stay here, and if you don't like it, you can go home. If you don't like it, this is Israel, Israel is ours, you don't like it, go whatever you want. Go in Africa, go whatever you want. We belong here, if you, if you are either with us or against us. If you don't like it, go. I, I don't like this attitude neither. And um, I, 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 I really, every time a brother wakes up, I believe something good is about to happen. Because deeply in me, in my deep in me, I realize that one day the true Hebrews gonna come here to Israel and gonna fix it. There won't be war no more. There won't be war no more, like the Bible said. There won't be racism no more, like there is right now. And and I really, I, I love you so much. You, you cannot believe how much uh, I the connection I have with you. I I know that you know something about racism. And you're going to oppose it whenever you come here. I know that you know something about violence. And you're going to stop it whenever you come here. And I, I'm, I'm on this side. I want this to happen. I, I deeply want this to happen. Amen. To well, Brother Peter, man, grace be to you. I truly can't wait to one day. I'm planning on coming to Israel. So I now have two brothers. Um, one who is uh, Shikaid, who's a black brother who's never been left. His parents have been there for over 4,000 years. And now I have another brother, Peter, my Ashkenazi brother. So now when I come to Israel, I got two people I can hang out with and I don't have to really worry about nothing. So, Peter, I look forward to uh, seeing you in person when I come to Israel. I'll keep you posted um, when I get ready to come. Also, um, I'm going to be interviewing you many more times. Um, and we'll, we're not going to just always talk about um, things about what's going on in Israel, but we want to also talk about some kingdom things, some New Jerusalem things, and what it's going to look like and, and things of that nature. So, man, I appreciate your time at last minute notice. Enjoy your Shabbat. May you have a great Sabbath. I'm getting ready to head to go teach our congregation um, on, the, on the coming of Christ. And so uh, on this Shabbat, and so, man, Shabbat Shalom to you. Man, I love you with the love of the Hamashiach, and I will see you later. Shalom. Shalom. Thank you, Rob.